So we've uh, we've seen you cave in somebody's head, and now we've seen this with uh, holy smokes, dude. Uh, I mean, I'm you knew immediately. Uh, did you know exactly what it was that that had happened to him? I, as I, soon as you did I it? still don't quite know exactly you know, what it what it is. To be fair, obviously, I saw him go down, and I just thought, you know, I don't know if I, I got a nerve, whatever. But uh-huh. obviously, when I saw him grasp his leg, I was like, he's not getting back up. Um, I didn't see the the lump until I looked up at the screen. So I was like, I'm in my celebrating element, and mm-hmm. then I actually looked up to see what it was, and I was it, it kind of took the <laughs> it took that kind of um, energy out of me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I still don't know what it is. Um, I know that that's probably not the way you wanted the fight to end, but you finished a guy using what your best skills are. So, I mean, it still counts. You know? Yeah, no, I was just saying to my boy as well. Um, it's not that it's, you know, I come here to win fights hundred percent, but I don't like taking money out of people's pocket. And what I mean is, yes, he's going to get paid for this fight, but because of the damage, he's going to be out a lot longer. Yeah. Whereas if, you know, if I knocked him out or whatever, 90 day ban, blah, 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 which is he's not going to get a fight in between that time anyway. Then he'd be back ready, you know, making money again, ready to fight again. So I just, I just hate that for him. You know what I mean? Other than the, um, the Santos fight, I mean, have you, have you won a fight like this before that, that we're not remembering where you just injured somebody that badly that that was it and it was done? Well, I think I guess the only other thing I could close to, but still not, um, the Derek Anderson with the nose because it's yeah. quite a weird nose breaking anyway. Um, and he fractured his hand on my face. Don't I don't I don't know what I'm made of. <laughs> but um yeah, so those those are the kind of distinct injuries that's kind of come from fact, fact the, for me. When you go back and look at this, will you, will there be a point where you say, you know what, we've seen this kick thrown before, and usually it's not you who it works out for. Yeah. Usually you're the one laying on the ground in yeah. that situation, the way he lifted to, to check. Will you go back and look at that and wonder if if you were just inches away from this being you laying on the ground, maybe like you, you hit him in the wrong way. Well, I will now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I got to know. I love talking about the mental, the mental part of things with you guys. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, to be fair, yeah, yeah. Kind of my plan for you know trying to get the right angle um, and land in the right way. But you know, any freak accidents can happen, so I, I wouldn't shy away from throwing those kicks again because mm. of it. Um, and obviously, I've well, and seen you've been throwing them your whole life, so, yeah, yeah, exactly. And I've seen injuries like that before, and it has never stopped me from wanting to throw those kind of kicks. So, yeah, I don't think it's not going to change anything for me. Um, so we, we talked a few days ago about how much you needed to get that feeling of, of getting your hand raised again. So mm-hmm. n- now you have, mm-hmm. um, talk a little bit about, about you know, sort of missing that feeling, and now that you've got it again, and then moving forward, you know. You didn't take any damage, I'm sure. So how quickly do you want to get back in there? And, and what are the kind of names you're looking for now to sort of put yourself back in that title mix? Um, so, yeah, like I, I feel like I'm, I'm already I'm already in that in that in that race um, with a win like that as well. There's not many others like in the division. I think a few people have lost just below me in the rankings. So, you know, I'm looking at the top anyway. Um, I said it already. It's just depending on how long I'm going to have to wait because I don't, you know, as you say, I haven't taken too much damage at all. So I don't have to wait months on end before I'm back again because, I, I, as you say, I, I enjoy being back in there, the crowd, just that energy. Um, so yeah, as soon as possible. Um, if it's not the title, then um, I just whoever's 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 ready. And this was undoubtedly such a beautiful stylistic matchup. It didn't end the way everybody thought it would. Mm-hmm. Are you down maybe to run it back in the future? Um, yeah, why not? I don't, you know, there's no there's no harm. But for me, it's just a case of it's it's, it's about progression. So obviously, because he's taken that loss, he has to do, he has to build his work his way back up as well. Um, and obviously, it depends on how how well he does in that. Um, then yeah, a hundred percent. But I'm happy to fight anybody. Uh, again, obviously, this was a successful night for me, so there's no point looking over it and wanting to go back for no reason. Mm-hmm. And you kind of just touched on it, but I just want to know: Are the party plans still looking good, even though we, that wasn't the ending we wanted? Oh no, I celebrate, bro. <laughs> I'm just gonna celebrate the victory of it. I just don't want to. It, it just felt wrong to want to be hype while he sat there, while he's you know he's going through pain, and you know, like I said, I don't, I don't, I would, I wouldn't want to do that to anybody. So. Um, but yeah, you know, it's still a victory for me. I still have to enjoy that victory. So yeah, definitely, um, go out and actually celebrate. I think it's something that people should do sometimes. And I, I can be hard on myself as well. So, and a a lot of people can do the same. And I always try to remind people, this is the best way to do it. 
if you're a driven person, you always look for the next goal. And sometimes you can be depressed even when you're being successful. So you have to take a moment to celebrate big and small successes. And that's still uh, uh, a success for me. So I'm going to celebrate. Perfect. Thank you. No problem. Uh, congratulations on your win, MVP. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, one is there's probably about 50% of fighters would have jumped on their opponent. What, what makes you pump the brakes and say, you know what, I, I'm not going to go in and get on the guy? Firstly, that guy's dangerous in jiu-jitsu, so <laughs> I was definitely never going to do that. But that's that's never been my style anyway. If you look at it, literally since I've been the first time I've been in the cage, I've, I don't think I've ever hit anybody once they drop to the floor. Um, I think it's just the background that I've come from. The freestyle kickboxing once it's over it's over i don't i don't not agree and I, I can get i get that people are in the moment but i'm very present when i fight i see it all i'm very present so um oh yeah my boy lin is going sorry 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 but yeah i'm very present in the moment so if i see someone's damage it's over i'll, I'll let the referee just come in yes that's, that's what i'm talking so yeah that's what i'm talking about um there's been a handful of fruit the Brits done it again, bro. We're the last two standing. <laughs> There's been a handful of freak accidents, not freak freak injuries. So one one obviously is the cyborg. You just crushed the guy's skull. And then from the UFC, you have the Anderson Silva injury. And, and there was another guy from the Ultimate Fighter. His bone came out of his knee. When you saw this happen, one, where did you kick him at exactly? And and how much of that is your timing and speed versus power? Um, yeah, I've never uh class myself as a powerful fighter as much as i've got loads of knockouts i've always said that i i, I blame it on my speed uh my timing and this would be no different i blame it on my speed and my timing i think i just caught it at the right moment as he was circling off something that i've been drilling something i've been thinking about um so yeah just again freak accident but the timing was 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 right but where, where did you hit him exactly where did you kick him at I think it just on the inside of the knee i'm gonna have to look back at it i i, I can't tell you it almost when i looked at Quickly, it looked like it was on the knee. So I I, I, I don't know. I, have to, I literally have to watch it back. And I'm going to piggyback off someone's question. Like, what's next? I mean, you've done uh, bare knuckle boxing against Perry. You've fought the best of the best in Bellator. Uh, outside of the title, what what else is left for MVP? Um, it's just, like I said, uh, progression. That's all it is. You know, whoever's next in line, I need to fight to keep progressing and going forward. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I can't say specific names. Like I said, the, our division's a bit, like everyone's kind of waiting and it's it's always difficult. And obviously, you know, the the promotion themselves has have a, a difficult time to match people at the right times and blah, blah, blah. But I'm ready. All right. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you.